Right, hello everybody. Uh, this is a quick replay analysis for Cocky for uh, Blood Bowl. Um, now it looks like he was uh, he was Nurgle against Rats. Um, very low TV. I don't hate this setup. There was certainly um, an argument for starting with the Beast and all four Warriors on the LOS um, because then it's obviously very hard for the the opposing player to get any hits on you whatsoever on the LOS. There's certainly an argument for that. Um, you, know, you know, you could also set up to stop the uh, Roger as well, like frenzying. So you could have put just three on the LOS and then like other guys, um, you know, like, oh. I should do a video on setups, shouldn't I? I'm, I must apologize, I'm knackered at the moment. I don't, I don't begrudge doing these videos at all. I'm just knackered. Uh, <laughs> what I'm not enjoying at the moment is playing Blood Bowl. Um, I, uh, I quite enjoy these kind of videos, to be honest. Right, so it looks like his opponent's maybe he's a little ex inexperienced as he, uh, as he did a pass and a sideline cage here. But never mind. He could double G if I can get the beast onto the uh, gutter here, couldn't he? That's a possibility. I don't know if he wants to do that. But, um. I wouldn't hate it. The rando basing punished with a cast. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Yep, so I like that. Can stick him on the other one. Maybe should have put him there. I don't. I don't hate putting him here. And then I think last action double GFI just because it totally shuts him down. Hello, Uther West. Yep, he goes for that one. Yeah, it's, it, you have you have to do it, don't you? Really, a bit lucky to make them both, but uh, had to do it. Not sure about the 1D at the end. Not my cup of tea making these 1Ds, but, you know, not bad. Certainly. And now this is uh, pretty bad for him. Yes, yeah, so he's just uphilling with block. But by coming... Oh my god, he got kicked. <laughs> Huge regen. The problem with that was he, he blocks his path anyway, doesn't he, with the... Uh, and get surfed, so... Um... <laughs> While well, he got the kill, which was pretty much the best possible result. He really should have been dodging the ball carrier. Oh, I think he shouldn't have gone forward. He should have obviously just gone back here. Um, and didn't stand up the dude first. So if his opponent had dodged back, screened off, ran back, dodged him, he could have had a nice screen going, and, uh, but it obviously still sucks getting him surfed. So I can see why I'd want to just try and dodge through. Um, but <laughs> getting getting his gut a cast is brutal punishment, isn't it? Bit, bit horrible if you won in 81s here, but you've obviously got to love the, uh, the blitz. To save the assist and then get the recovery as well with the beat with Pestico, who's you, who you want to have it. Definitely an argument for making this block first to free up a guy first. Um, I would have hit with this one as well so that he would have been free. One, two, three, four. But I mean, I guess if you're counting the squares first and you know that this one's. Only wants to be here, it doesn't matter which one you block with. But I still think it would have been better to have lost the guy off the edge than the guy, you know, if, if it's a double skull or whatever, or quads, uh, 181. I, I always try to make it like the guy furthest away and uh, making the hits. And now he's pretty much won this half, hasn't he? This looks uh, pretty brutal now. It doesn't look to be a lot the uh, rats can do. And he fails another dodge. And this guy's getting surfed. This guy's getting blitzed. 
and he's running through, and that's the uh, the half over in like three turns. <laughs> what a lovely match. Argument to be made for making that 3D there. Uh, it wouldn't have taken too much of a commitment to get the third dice. You know, he's got three rerolls, but still. One in 81's happened, don't they? And he's got such a man advantage that it would have been a minimal investment, I think, to make it three dice. There you go, there's a double skull. These are more appetising than the previous one Daisy made, because obviously if he gets a pound the first one, he gets to make the second one. Hey! Double skulls, loner fail. <laughs> wow. His opponent's getting pretty screwed. This is a perfect time to go for a warrior handoff now, isn't it? Because there is a gutter around. Only one gutter left. But with uh, two re-rolls and a few turns, could possibly go for the handoff. I'd still, that, the problem is, Nurgle is so shit, I'd still be inclined to just score on the first to go. So I don't blame him not going for the handoffs. Uh, but it probably would have been the best idea to go for the handoff. Oh, it's the snatch, they're all characters out of snatch, I've just realised. Turkish. You're not much use to me alive, are you, Turkish? <laughs> Boris the Blade, oh brilliant. <laughs> Bullet Tooth Tony, yeah, I fucking love Snatch. One of my favourite movies of all times. Oh, Wolf Ram Ajax. <laughs> and his opponent is reduced to uh, petty retaliation fouls. <laughs> petty frustration retaliation fouls. Yeah, I watched it semi recently. It was just on TV. It's one of those that I watch when it's on TV, but I, I own it. I believe, I believe I own it. But I only watch it when it's, you know, like, every time it's on TV, I randomly watch it, but never, never watch, never watch the DVD. Classic. <laughs> only a push. Could have, um, could have assisted from here, right, to have made it a 2D so that he wouldn't have been giving up a block if it was only a push. Would have been slightly more optimal. And again, could have thought about these 1Ds, the, the, well, the first 1D, because he's not going to get back after it. His opponent's already displayed the fact that he's uh, given up, essentially, by making that foul. So you're not even losing a lot of position if you skull out on the first one. And if you get a pal on the first one, then you get the, uh, well, even a push on the first one, you push him into the warrior, and then you get to hit the second one with 2D. Well, he doesn't take the 2D with a with a rogue and he makes a 1D, which is still a double skull. <laughs> wow, this guy's not having much luck, is he? <laughs> Can probably send these guys back now. Uh, probably don't need them both. Uh, maybe could have just sent one back. Uh, probably don't need them both to protect him. So, like, probably best of blitz... That guy with the uh, with this warrior, and then he would have had a two D block on the uh, thing. I think that would have been better. I, don't know. I guess this way you get two D on him as well, don't you? With him, yes. This is this way is better actually. Um, to be fair, this way is better. Well done, cocky. <laughs> There's certainly an argument of Blitz the Butler as well, right? Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh my god, this poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, maybe WR's Benny, maybe. <laughs> um, he said to see how it could have been more ruthless, so you know. There was the. He could have made it 3D on the other one. I'm trying to be a little bit nitpicky, you know, because. To be fair, it's easy to say a lot. Of, what happens is in these kind of games, like, it's easy to say, oh, you know, could have made this a little bit safer, but it's easy to not do it a little bit safer when you're playing and you're just quite enjoying fucking shit up. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, <laughs> so, like, but there is things like could have made one of, one of those a 3D, could have maybe gone for a speculative 1D to get a 2D after it. Um, so there's a few things that maybe that maybe could have been a little bit more optimal, but um, again, I think a lot of people would would make those suboptimal moves because they'd just be happy at getting to dick on someone for once. <laughs> but yeah, he should have recognised when when he did that uh, when he did that foul, he should have recognised that he wasn't going to pressure the ball, so could have got an extra player or two back in the fight earlier, maybe. Um, I guess. This should, should be a 3D, shouldn't it? One, two, three, four, with three assists. Looks like he's doing it. Nope. Nope. So that, that's just, just shitting wrong. Because <laughs> this guy could have come in and he could have gone in the side and made it 3D. So, you know, that would have been, could have been slightly more ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> and arguably could have gone for the uh, Pestigo handoff. I'm not sure I would have gone for the Pestigo handoff. Uh, sorry, Nurgle Warrior handoff. I'm not sure I would have done. Because it, it could go wrong. Obviously. Second half, though, he can go for it. Um, against six men that he's put all on the line, nearly. <laughs> So obviously just stick the beast on the uh, on the gutter. And you're good. So I would have I would have put the gutter here, and then blitz the blitz the gutter into him so that you wouldn't have to activate him to stick the gutter onto him. Um. <laughs> Very good, Bezel. Very good. This reminds me of world class back in the 1980s. <laughs> thank you and thank you very much Bezel for updating all of the uh, all of the wrestlers on the uh, on the Rumble 6 on uh, well Rumble command I know it's thank you very very much. So not three dicing the uh, gutter. At this point, the gutter is the only danger in the in the, in the opposing team because the other guys are just shitters with with agility three. So literally, the only danger is the gutter. So I would have definitely um, set up a three D blitz on him with pushing him into the beast, so that whatever happens, he's he's controlled because that's literally the guy's only way back into the match is the is the, is the uh, gutter runner. Also could have kept going with two more squares and based him, I think. And based these two as well. Um, I think I would have done that before picking it up. I would have gone two more squares, based him. Uh, another square there to make this a 3D. And then the other guy on the other side of them as well. So everyone could be based up. Because at least make this a 3D if you're going to hit with a... With the, uh, or, you know, if you're not. If you're not locking down the gutter. Because the gutter, you know, you could have failed that pickup. And the gutter could have run through and got him, but obviously he's killed now. <laughs> Fucking hell! Can blog him into a 3D from the beast. It's quite nice. Um. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this block at all. 
would have definitely blocked with him to push him into the beast for a 3D from the beast. I don't mind going with a 3D with him because he's on 4. So uh, bl 3D Blitz with Mickey. Uh, it would be very nice, wouldn't it? So it looks like that's what he's doing. Beast on those three knots, not what he's doing. I think I would have much preferred the 3D from him. Level him up, maybe, with a cast. Um, because you can still hand off to this guy later anyway, right? So I'd like to, I would like to have seen a 3D from him versus Armour 7. And just stick a dude on, on the uh, on the other guy. <laughs> Another guy killed. Right, I mean the matches well let's let's stick with it. <laughs> let's stick with it. <laughs> I mean he's got got the beast on four. At this point you've now now you know you've got to score with Boris the Blade. So he wants to be here. Now somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he would have been a bit a bit further forward, then next turn be six in front of him, so you could go six and hand off to him next turn. To like optimize him getting forward and him getting forward. It's probably alright next turn, one, two, three, four. And then he hands off. What's he on? He's on six as well, so he really wants to have, so he's not going for the handoff this turn. Absolutely had to get him up. He's on four. He levels up with the tuddy. Um or him. I mean either one. Either one of these guys on four. Um had to get the handoff this turn. Because you've got everyone stuck on the beast. You can screen off with the rest of the team. And make a what one, two, three, four. Five five chances to hand off with two rerolls, so seven four pluses seven four plus chances. That's uh that's gotta be done. In my opinion <laughs> I think this is definitely a, a kind of a waste because he's already on six anyway, so he's not. He's not really getting a whole lot out of it, is he? This, uh. <laughs> You're not much use to me alive, are you, Turkish? <laughs> uh, this guy could be in there. And he's moved him back, but he could still get a 1D, so he could just be in there, screening it off. Or making this a 3D. Uh, from him. Kane could probably try to find 3Ds. Yeah, doing a, could have done a 3D with a beast first. Certainly a good argument for not activating the beast to uh, keep the tents on them all. Yeah. I mean, the ball was pretty safe when everybody was stuck on the... When everyone stuck on the beast, it's pretty safe. But yeah, this guy could have been back there. Yeah. Yeah, there was, there was kind of no excuse for this guy to be... Well, here at first. He should have screened off the pack. And it looks like he's moved him up to hand off anyway. Is he on four? No, he's on two. And again, I think a bit too much. There's no need to put so many guys up here. Actually, what he could have done was he could have got both four SPP warriors um, up for the handoff so that uh, if he'd handed off and they'd failed, the other one could have caught it. Pestigore's on 6 out of 6. Like, it's okay scoring the Pestigore, but it, you know, this was such a good opportunity to level up Warrior. I think he had to. First half, you could have argued for a Warrior handoff. Um, but the fact that the Pest was on 3, and he's getting a level himself, and it's, you know, it's against Rats who had a gutter runner around. I probably wouldn't have gone for the handoff in the first half. Some people would have done. But I wouldn't have done in the first half. Second half, absolutely 100% I would have gone for a handoff. Because he was just, he had nothing left. <laughs> and what he did have was stuck on the beast and could have still screened it and everything. Is he going to go for the handoff now? Yeah. 
But I'm not with two SPP, dude. I mean, which is which isn't terrible because then he'll be on five, and the other guys he's got two on four, so he's got three guys who are a Kaz away now from leveling, which is all right. But I think I would have probably just taken the level up on one of the four SPP guys. Hello, Zenai. <laughs> Rerolls it and gets the uphill pal. Jesus. And the armor break. <laughs> and the removal. <laughs> Gorgeous George, about as durable in Blood Bowl as he was in the movie. Incredible. I gave you a misty outfit in a, <laughs> in the wrestling. <laughs> the uh, yeah, no, I mean this is all right, Nick, because it's the replays are fine. I'm just I'm just shattered. I'm so tired. It's ridiculous. Yeah, better than later, awesome. <laughs> I don't know where Adonis Kellis is from. I know he lives in in Tübingen, but um, I put later Horsen on him, and he <laughs> he was he was fine with it. <laughs> but you've got you know later Horsen just means German to uh to uh, non-German people rather than Bavarian. So there you go, there's a 2-0, well done. Well done, Cocky, but I do think he sh could have maybe um, optimised the SPPs better, could have made some more 3Ds, could have protected the ball, either protected the ball more or gone for the handoff earlier. Um, and But apart from that, it was pretty... Um, it was pretty good, wasn't it, just making removals. It, if he breaks into, like... <laughs> into five Kaz and f five KOs from eight AV breaks. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty good percentages. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave well no leave a like and subscribe or else and stay fantastic.